Hello and welcome to this video brought to you by the Thermo channel. Thermodynamic diagrams contain a lot of information about the physical behavior of pure substances. They can be used to design pieces of equipment and chemical processes such as refrigeration processes and power cycles. Pressure enthalpy, temperature entropy and enthalpy entropy diagrams are the most commonly used. The goal of this video is to discuss the characteristics of the temperature entropy diagram. And by the end of this presentation, you should be able to locate the saturated liquid line, the saturated vapor line, the critical point, the subcooled or compressed liquid region, and the superheated vapor region. You should also be able to identify lines of constant temperature, entropy, pressure, enthalpy and quality, which is the vaporized fraction. This is the temperature entropy diagram of water. Observe that the horizontal axis is for the entropy and that the vertical axis is for the temperature. Throughout the presentation, we'll use thick black lines to highlight features of the diagram. Here, we highlight the saturated liquid line and here we highlight the saturated vapor line. Between them, we have a two-phase region. If a system is represented by a point within this region, it will have a liquid phase and a vapor phase. The saturated liquid line and the saturated vapor line come together at the critical point of the pure substance. This is the limiting situation for the coexistence of a liquid and a vapor phase. Inside the two-phase region, this diagram shows lines of constant quality. Quality is the ratio of the mass in the vapor phase to the total mass of the system. Close to the saturated liquid line, the quality will be small because there is little vapor in the system. For example, the highlighted line in this slide has quality of 0.1 meaning that only 10% of the mass is in the vapor phase. The line highlighted in this slide has quality of 50% and the line highlighted in this slide has quality of 90% and observe that it's close to the saturated vapor line. To the right of the saturated vapor line, we have the superheated steam region. To the left of the saturated liquid line, we have the compressed or subcooled liquid region. But bear in mind, if you move too much to the left, you may end up in the solid region, which is not shown in detail in this diagram. An isothermal process is represented by a horizontal line. For example, a process that starts in state 1 and proceeds horizontally to state 2 happens at the constant temperature of 400 degrees Celsius. An isentropic process is represented by a vertical line like the one shown in these slides. An example would be an adiabatic and reversible compression starting from state 1 and taking the system to state 2. This slide shows an isobaric three-state process that starts from point 1 in the superheated steam region and then goes to point 2 which is a saturated vapor, and onwards to state 3, which is a saturated liquid. Observe that between states 2 and 3, not only the pressure remains constant, but also the temperature, because the line connecting points 2 and 3 is horizontal, and we know that the horizontal line in this diagram represents an isothermal process. Therefore, between points 2 and 3, the process is, at the same time, isobaric and isothermal. Here, the process that happens between states 1 and 2 occurs at constant enthalpy. It's called an isenthalpic process. An example of isenthalpic process is the expansion of a fluid through a perfectly insulated valve. In addition to the lines we discussed here, there are light green lines in this diagram and there are lines of constant specific volume. In summary, if you know how to navigate the many lines that the temperature entropy diagram displays 
you can represent different types of processes. It's a very rich source of information. My name is Marcelo Castilla. Thank you very much for watching this presentation. Make sure you subscribe to the Uthelmo channel on YouTube and visit our Facebook page. Thanks again. Goodbye.